what's up youtube you're checking out the pico flyer and i'm out here with the king kong 95 gt with a fly sky receiver and it's pretty nasty and rainy out here but i just figure i'll bring this thing out real quick for a quick line of sight test since i got these new props on it these are hq 1933s i'm guessing they're probably um 19 33s because they're 1.9 inches and I'm guessing one three is for the 30 degree pitch and the other three is probably because it's three blades but I don't know for whatever reason they're called uh, <laughs> 1933s so let's just fire this thing up I'm interested to see how this thing punches and all with these props because I, I did, these do pressure fit as well. So I had them on the Baby Hawk. And the Baby Hawk seems to fly really smooth. No vibrations and all of that stuff with it. So this is another option for the Baby Hawk. But right now we're going to test it with the 95 GT. So let's take off with it. So right away, let's check, let's check the punch out. So not bad for 2S. Not as fast as some of the other the other ones that I've been testing. We got a helicopter flying overhead. No, we lost most of the sunlight, so I'll try to keep it up in the air high so you guys can see it better. Hopefully that'll allow you guys to see it better. So these props seem nice though. This thing flips fast. I don't know why this one flips faster. It might have something to do with the Fly Sky protocol though. I almost banged out right there. <laughs> Not used to it flipping this fast. So I do have the pitch in the yaw. Well, the yaw is on 70 and the pitch and roll are on 80 but still this thing flips faster than all the other ones that I have it's I don't know if it's something with the rates the RC rate is still at one so maybe it's the settings inside the Devo for fly sky but anyhow you can see this thing flies nice with these props here they have a pretty unique sound to them as well Very well balanced though. So what's holding me up from switching this to XT30 is the fact that I ran out of the connectors. I ran out of the XT30 connectors for the quads. I still have about two left for the batteries. So I have to re-up on those. And then I'll be converting this so I can fly it on 3S. Because right now, it has that annoying balance plug on it. That was okay with the 90 GT because the 90 GT only has I believe it's four amp ESCs, so it doesn't support 3S anyhow. But being that this thing has 10 amp ESCs, I don't see why they would put that 2S balance port on it, limiting us to just 
two rests. So I got to be careful. I don't have my timer set on this fly sky protocol. So that was my downfall last time. I didn't realize that for each model, I have, I have to set up that timer for each model. Well, each protocol. Whoa. <laughs> a little hard to really see your orientation in this type of lighting here. So I'm guessing we've been in an, I'm guessing we've been in the air for about uh, over three minutes now. Let's try a punch. Yeah, the punch out is really weak now. Let's bring it in. One last flip. <laughs> One more. Okay, let me stop. So let me bring it in. And so that's it. A quick demo, line of sight, acro flight of the King Kong 95 GT with these new 1933 HQ props. Tri-bleeds. Pretty awesome. Well balanced. Thanks for watching.